The Art of Knotting and Splicing by Cyrus Lawrence Day. This particular book is the second edition and it's United States Naval Institute, Annapolis, Maryland. Okay, this is another one of my go-to books. Um, whether it came with a nice decorative cover or not, I don't know. Um, but another one of the, my books that I really do enjoy um, pulling out and having a look at. This, this book is mainly practical knots. As most of you know, I'm, my greater interest is decorative knotting. Um, however, as I've said in the past, I am becoming more and more attracted to um, practical knots and their uses. And so therefore this book is one of my go-to books when it comes to practical knots. It doesn't, like, oh, like all books that you get, it doesn't have every single practical knot in. However, having said that, because it's United States Naval Institute, I assume that it's got nearly every single knot that the Navy would require as such to be used. Um, so therefore, all their um, practical knots would be listed in this book. And the other great thing about this book is it's, it's a good thick book. Um, let's see, if I go here to the contents of the actual book itself. And basically, it starts off with knots in folklore and history. It then goes on to the strength and security of knots. So if you're tying a practical knot and you've made a particular knot and you want to know how strong that knot is, there is actually, from what I remember reading in this, there is a table in here that tells you the strength of um, different knots that you use, etc. Um, it then goes on to, for example, main heading here, some elementary considerations, um, which covers such things as useful tools, the lay of a rope, plain whipping, palm and needle whipping, snaking, so forth, so on and so on. And it goes on to half hitches, slippery hitches, overhand knots, etc. And it works its way through. We then get on to knots, it's knots and bends themselves. Um, you've got the square knot, the draw knot, the bow knot, the surgeon's knot, except, you know, oh, I'm sick of saying the word, etc., etc. You'll notice that I say it a lot. And as you can see, the index has got lots and lots of knots listed here. Um, it's got fixed loops, running knots and nooses, hitches and similar knots. Um, these are just the main headings. End knots and multi-strand knots. We then have a section on Turk's heads. It seems to me that every book has the Turk's head in it. Um, a friend of mine, he, he once wrote a book on knots and he personally hated, in fact, his name was Gordon Perry. Gordon Perry, he's written a few books, ex-Royal Navy. I think he was Lieutenant Commander um, RM retired. Um, sadly died, I think it was last year. Um, and when I used to talk to him, he used to hate the Turk's head knot simply for the fact was that the Turk's head knot was mainly used for covering up any sins underneath it. So in other words, if you were working on a piece of rope and you wanted to finish it off, easiest and simple way is put a Turk's head over the top of the little bit of mess that you've got at the end of your rope and that, that cures the problem. So he hated that knot for that particular reason. Um, so anyway, yes, so there's a whole section on Turk's head knots. Then we've got another section on some senets, which has got the plain senet, square senet, flat senet, and so on. And then we've got the bibliography and index. So, and the other thing that I do like about this book, okay, one dislike is I do like my books to be in ring binders, simply for the fact is, this book's not so bad. When you open it up on any page, like for example here, it does stay open. But some books, when you're working with them, you've got to weigh it down with something to keep the page open as such. The other thing I like about this book is, I know, I know previous books I've shown you have got drawings of the knots in, etc. But one thing I don't like about a drawing in a knot is it's too perfect. Somebody has taken their time to draw the finished knot and sometimes when you're tying your knot to get your knot to look like the drawing 
is pretty impossible. But in this particular case, it's all photographs. Photographs also with including little um, directional arrows to show you how to tie the knot itself, which direction, which cord should be pulled through which. So that's the right hand section there is always a picture of the knot and in the left hand section and is the actual um, knot itself. So on this particular page that I've selected here, overhand knot or thumb knot. So here we have the overhand knot or thumb knot and it's basically showing you how that's tied. So 14 is that, 14A, a right-handed overhand knot tied with the lay in right laid rope. So the lay of the rope is showing how it's done. Which was that? That was 14A, 14B. So let's see, 15A is, what's 15A? A, a right-handed half knot. 15B, a left-handed half knot. And so you've, you, you can see the pictures, you've got your description on the left hand side and also within the description not only does it tell you how to tie it but it also tells you in what cases to use the knot for and um, for example here it just says but it jams hard under tension. So in other words it's a good knot but can jam hard under tension. So when you're using a practical knot maybe select a different knot because of the caution that you've been given there. But as you can see all the way through We've just got nice plates of different knots to use. And here we go. Knot I did previously was the fisherman's knot, which was 37. And basically the description on the left hand side there was um, for the fisherman's knot. So yes, wonderful, wonderful book. Carrick Bend here. You know, just a, a great book for reference and also having practical knots in it. And as you can see, it's, ju it's just well laid out. And to be honest, I didn't know there were so many bowlines. Bowlines continued on this page. They just seem to go on forever, the bowline knots. Um, but like I say, I'm no expert on practical knots. Um, so I assume, yes, the bowline, there would be a lot of knots. And see, bowline's still going on here. And the bowline on another page is going on. So in other words, we all thought, or many of us thought there was just but one bowline knot. But here we go, we've got the, um, let's see, bowline on the bite continued. And so it goes on to that. And we've got the Spanish bowline on the next page. Gosh, that knot does get a lot of use. Um, and then we're going down to the perfection knot, for example. And, you know, it's just, it's a great book. And like I said, because it's done by the Navy, sadly not the Royal Navy, but the American Navy, I should think it covers nearly every single practical knot that the Navy itself would need to use. And as we go on, you can see here, it's just page upon page. Even, for example, here, creating a derrick, shears, tripod, triangle, um, the scaffold hitch, all listed in here as well. Barrels, look. We've got a barrel of beer in our cellar. I wish I had, but anyway, if we've got a barrel of beer in our cellar, we can actually use the barrel sling to lift our barrel out of the cellar. And I'd like to think that we empty it fairly swiftly and so therefore we don't need to sling it around any further after that. And so yes, you know, even um, worming, for example, wrapping rope around or wrapping cord around other rope, etc. It shows you the tools that are used. You know, it just is a great book. How to splice wire. You know, um, some people will want to go on to splicing wire. I can't imagine me ever wanting to do that. And with a broken arm, there's no way I'm going to do that at the moment. Um, just wire seems to be too much of a difficult prospect. Maybe I'll have a go one day just to see how it's done. And you can see here, you know, just more and more. And here's some decorative stopper knots as such. Um, you've got the double wall knot, the diamond knot and the double diamond knot listed on this page here and as we go through oh look here we go the Turks heads now have appeared here so here's the Turks heads knot and it's just another knot that the Navy would use as such and we then get on to our senates so we have our different senates square senates here on this page flat senates and then finally we're into the bibliography 
and let's see how many pages this. This book is 224 pages, um, and I've got to say, for a book on practical knots, oh yes, this, this is a very good book. I'm sure there's, I mean, okay, I'm very biased because I am English, I'm sure there's excellent English versions, but I was given this lot, in fact, I was given this by Gordon Perry, this book, and I love it. For practical knots, I really do love this book. Yes, I love my Ashley book of knots, but the problem with Ashley's is, is that there are so many knots in there, sometimes you can't see the wood for the trees. But this is, in itself, a great little book. Um, so, The Art of Knotting and Splicing by Sirius Lawrence Day, second edition, United States Naval Institute, brilliant. So if you like these videos, please share them because the more people that get to see them can make decisions about what books to buy, etc. Um, the other thing I would say is, I don't know if this is still in print or not. Take a look on eBay, Amazon to see if anybody's selling these. This book is a good book if you're into practical knots. Um, and the other thing is, if you also like the videos and you want to see more of them, just hit the subscribe button somewhere on your page here. Okay, and so that is The Art of Knotting and Splicing. Thank you.